Hey all, it's me here. Today I'm going to try out the Misha We Bear Bears line. And I heard it's not like really new products, but just repackaged. But luckily for me, I haven't tried any of these Misha products before. So yeah, let's see how I like them. So I have a couple of different things here. I have actually all three of the hand creams but one is in Opa's car because yeah he has always he has always has dry hands so I just gave one to him because I thought it was cute because he looks like a bear as well so I have here the argan oil one the manuka well, the manuka honey one and then there's the rose hip version which I have in the car then but I tried the rose hip version as well and I really like it. It really smells rosy and it's really hydrating. It's more of like a, it's almost like thick and pasty. So I wonder what the consistency of these two are. It says 24 hour moist guarantee. Moist? Don't know. Let's try. So this is the Manuka Honey one. It doesn't smell like honey but it does smell nice so this is a bit thinner than the one the rosehip oil one which was really like a thick salve type and then this is the argan oil one I will try to put this on the other hand Let's open the seat oh this actually smells really nice like a shampoo smell and this has the same texture I think no, it's a bit more thick so these are the two creams both are just basic white hand cream they both smell pretty nice but it's not like an overpowering smell so I'm just putting one Manuka is on this one and then this one I have Argan. Hello. Really smells like shampoo for some reason. It does feel really nice and moisturizing and it absorbs pretty quickly. So yeah, these two are actually pretty nice. And I think this is a decent size as well. You can just put it in your handbag without being too big. And it's pretty cute to put in the car or on your desk or whatever. So yeah, these I actually do really like. And then I have the Misha We Bear Bears Glacial Water Mist. This is like a moisturizing facial mist but they have three different versions of these as well so I just put, chose the most moisturizing one which is this one look how cute so I do have a bit of makeup on I'm only wearing light makeup because I went to the office today Tilo, stop it Oh, actually feels pretty heavy like the spray is really like filled to the brim or something when you spray it it doesn't really smell like anything but I'm just going to spray it and see if it works also on top of my makeup or maybe it will like completely melt my makeup but I have to wash my hair today anyway so it's not really a big deal if some of the particles get in my hair so let's just spray this and I'm not really a person who can spray facial mist on really um, how do I say it really really like in a really cool way or something but yeah let's just spray it and try to look cool This is so different than what I expected because 
it looks kind of like a hairspray or a dry shampoo bottle so i thought the spraying particles were really big and that it would spray like a really hard like almost like a hairspray type but the mist is really fine i don't know if you can see that the particles are so so small and the spray is like so gentle it stops as well you cannot hold it and press it like hairspray so i really thought in this kind of bottle because this is a really 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 big bottle i think this can last you ages with this small particles of this mist and it actually feels pretty moisturizing and doesn't mess up my makeup so i think this is pretty cool i actually really really like this I will put this on top of my desk to moisturize my face throughout the day because I do think it's a big, bit too big to put in my bag. I will uh, compare it to my Rose Heart one. So these are my other two favorite facial mists. So I have the Rose Heart Moisturizing Mist, which is this one with rose extract, which you need to shake first. Then it looks like this. And I have this one, which is the Innisfree Green Tea Mineral Mist, which is really calming. So these two, this one is bigger, but it's a bit thinner. This is 100 ml. This is 50 ml. This is 120 ml. So it's actually a little bit more than this, but it looks so big. It looks really big. So yeah, I... I would like to put this in my handbag maybe it's lightweight but it still feels pretty big compared to these three yeah but yeah I really love this and this has such a fine mist and the spraying nozzle is actually really cool this one sometimes sprays a bit difficult because you really need to press really hard and then yeah but furthermore I love this one it smells really nice this one has absolutely like no smell at all which is pretty surprising but i really like this i'm going to try it with the mask as well so i have all three of the masks so it's the be bare bears herb in nude sheet mask hydrating care which is with green tea Highly adhesive mask with strong brew of green tea ingredients to help prevent skin dryness, making skin moisturize. Mm, it's like a biocellulose sheet, so that's pretty cool. Mm. It also has camellia extract, so that will be pretty calming as well. And then this one is the firming care. Oh, it's... They are all like tea based because this is green tea and this is like rooibos tea. This really popular tea here in Europe. So I actually never heard they put this in a mask before. Green tea is really popular ingredient obviously. But let's see what this does. It says here to help provide elasticity making skin smooth and firm. So... For external use, do not swallow, obviously. Who would swallow a sheet mask? It has a couple of hydrating ingredients in it as well. Like Japonica root extract and this has Camellia as well. I do not know the name, like the scientific or Latin name for like the rooibos tea. So I don't know how high it is up into the ingredient list both of these do have fragrance in there but it's the final ingredient so i think even with my sensitive skin should be fine i just hope it's not that like smelly like it's a really overpowering smell and then this is the last one which is moisturizing care to help provide moisture rose flower so this is not tea herb yeah they're herb based so is rose a herb as well I don't even know. Strong brew of rose flower. Oh yeah, you do have rose tea, right? Like with the small bulbs, the cute one. Strong brew of rose flower ingredients to help provide moisture, making skin radiant. Highly adhesive mask with soft 
texture as silk both of all three of them are actually pretty similar in ingredients just the main ingredient of the teas being different so just because i think this one sounds really interesting and i do need some extra moisture and elasticity for my skin it's never bad like anti-aging is never bad so i think i'm going to try this so i'm going to remove my makeup and then we will try this so just wait a second and i'll be right back okay so i just washed my face and i have a bit of a breakout going on here because i slept really bad for the past four days for some days i didn't even sleep more than like three hours or something so yeah that's been really breaking me out from since yesterday so yeah i just have to sleep really well for the couple few days i have a bit less of a busy schedule so maybe this mask will calm my skin down a bit and I can sleep really well tonight well, let's hope when I open this the juice doesn't doesn't squirt all over my face because <laughs> we've all had that before right so looks pretty thick actually really wonder how this will sit on my face oh can you see that it's not dripping i really 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 hate when it's all dripping but the essence feels really thick like really gel gel like these like cellulose mask i feel like are really different than like the standard cotton sheet mask so they are more thin sometimes so you have to be really careful with folding them outwards yay yes now let's fit this on does smell really nice mm. not bad doesn't feel bad at all okay let's just wash my hands the fit is actually pretty decent the fit is really decent I haven't had such a good fit in a long time only this part here it's a bit loose but that's around my eye area so it's not that bad for me so let's see what time it is now look at my case how fitting is this so it's now 4 p.m. so let's leave this on for how long hmm. 10 to 15 minutes or so so yeah let's wait a bit and I'll be right back okay so I just left the mask on for a little over 15 minutes because I wanted to see if you know sometimes the shade mask they dry out if you keep it on too long because then the moisture that is soaked into your skin actually goes back into the mask instead of the skin but this feels still pretty moist and it feels like it's absorbing into my skin really well so I'm going to take it off now mm. and actually I said before right that I wanted to put on the face mist before I applied the sheet mask because I didn't even put on the toner or moisturizer or anything before the mask because I just wanted to feel the effects of the sheet mask really well even without like a moisturizer or anything if it was still moisturizing but yeah i totally forgot to spray on the facial mist but there is so much essence left and it's pretty thick so i think it will take some time to actually soak into my skin don't know if you can tell but my skin looks also really shiny because the essence is so a thick it reminds me somehow of like a snail essence because it's a little thick and 
it's not as watery as usual kind of sheet mask but I do really like that and I love snail products as well so for me that's a good thing but if you don't really like sticky or that long waiting for absorbing then maybe this is not your thing if the sheet mask if you put it on the first time it does smell a little fragranced but not that heavy so for me the smell was pretty natural so i didn't find it annoying but it's not really like scentless so if you're looking for that then yeah that's that's not this mask I don't know about the other ones but there was also fragrance in these ones all three masks do have fragrance in them but it's all like the last ingredient so it's not that bad i will spray this on later today because i love this so much and this is actually my favorite item out of all these misha we bear bears i love this hand cream as well the rose hip one i do like but the consistency is a bit more salvy and I don't I'm not really a big fan of like rose smell so that's whoa. <laughs> I dropped it. So that's like my least favorite hand cream of these three. Just imagine the last one out there. Because I I'm not really a big fan of rose smell. And I do know that I said I love the rose heart mist, but the rose smell isn't really that heavy in that one. So Oh, here it is. <laughs> so yeah, this was my favorite of all of them. And the sheet mask feels really nice as well. Feels kind of moisturizing. And I do really understand the firming extract. I will try to read the ingredients again. Because it really feels like something snaily. But maybe they just put it in for the firming feeling. But I didn't see any snail extract in there. But let me try to read it again and I will put it in the comments if it has something snaily in there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope this was helpful for you. If you want to buy this online, you can just look for the Misha We Bear Bears collection. I'm not sure how well it is available because I bought this when we were in Korea. And it was already a while ago when I bought this. I didn't have any time earlier to try this collection so I hope you don't mind but I think it's still pretty widely available and you also have like the Chinese brand Miniso 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 Mini Mini something I think it's Miniso who also has a We Bear Bears collection but it's different from this one so if you really want Korean skincare then look for like Misha and this is the only items they have, I believe. They have the hand creams, sheet mask, and the facial mist. So anything other than that is probably not Misha. So you should check for an authorized seller or something like that. Just find a good source and you can try it for yourself as well. So please thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!